Hey everyone, it's Kayla. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If welcome if you've never been here, welcome back if you are a OG subscriber. I definitely appreciate all who are subscribed. It helps me get noticed. Make sure you like and share if you like my content. Okay? Okay. All right. So, um, yes, your girl done whipped out a wig because she's tired of her hair. I'm going to do something that I normally don't do, and it's an unpopular opinions video. I normally don't, like, go too deep into what my opinions are about certain stuff, especially controversial stuff, just because I feel like it's so much going on. But it seems to be a trending video, and I like to do more stuff that helps you all get to know me you know what i'm saying so we can get to know each other and we can be friends and stuff like that don't run for me friend don't run for me friend stuff i'm just saying so um today i'm going to talk about my unpopular opinions if you unsubscribe to me after this i'm sorry um not trying to offend anybody uh everybody is entitled to have their own opinions they're like buttholes everyone has one um so yeah if you're interested in seeing what my unpopular opinions are then stay tuned and keep on watching okay so um my first unpopular opinion is that vanilla ice cream vanilla milkshakes vanilla anything vanilla cake disgusting it's disgusting like it doesn't Mm, it doesn't have that. the only thing vanilla that I will eat and that's because um, Like me and my cousin used to eat it all the time when I went over her house was vanilla bean Vanilla bean has a little more flavor. It's like something in there that mixes it up vanilla flavor milk like for you to go somewhere cook out McDonald's like I'll eat okay, for example, I'll eat a McFlurry like if I decide and I'm I don't really drink milkshakes like that anymore except for when I go to cookout because it's a weakness. But I don't go to cookout all the time. So chill on me. I'm gonna go and say, oh, I want a vanilla frosty. I want a vanilla ice cream cone. If you know about Mr. Softy back in Detroit. That's nasty. Get you something with some flavor, okay? I love chocolate. So my unpopular opinion, number one, is that vanilla is disgusting. Second unpopular opinion is that, uh, <laughs> y'all gonna come for me on this one <laughs> it is what it is uh my second unpopular opinion is that beyonce's okay i said it beyonce's okay when i say beyonce's okay i'm not talking about um her talent she is a great singer talented singer one of the best performers in the in the world um her acting, her acting is trash, is trash. We know this, we're not gonna, I don't care. It's, it's been years, like it's been Austin Powers, Fighting Temptations, um, what's the movie with her and Idris Elba? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Get your hands off my child. <laughs> now Lion King. Now granted, she got more money than I probably could think of right now. It is what it is. These are just my opinions. Acting is trash. I don't think that part is unpopular, but she is just okay because of the acting portion. Like, I feel like there are other singers who are, or entertainers in general, because I don't even just consider her a singer. Like, because she's been in movies, she's more so an entertainer. She produces. But I know other entertainers that I just feel like are more talented or versatile. Um. So, yeah, that's my second unpopular opinion okay um third unpopular opinion and y'all i am not even writing these down like i'm just going off the fly because it it just is what it is third unpopular opinion is i don't know how unpopular this is but cats are cats are nasty and i know it's an opinion right i know they technically are one of the cleanest pets like they lick themselves and they can clean themselves huh. just got oh just thinking about a hairball Jesus, cats, I don't trust them. Um, the only person I would put up with cats with is my best friend because she's like had cats her whole life. 
but I don't like cats and it's like every time I go to somebody's house and they have a freaking cat like I, I feel like that's a dating question like that's an important question if I go out on a date with you or if like we're getting to know each other like do you like cats because I can't like I can't I cannot like I cannot do it with a cat they sneaky they always like are just around and then I don't know if they feel my energy that I just don't want to be bothered with them but like I'll be the one person in the room that's like mm -hmm. don't mess with the cat like that you know and mm, you got a cat let me stand over here cat will walk his happy tail all the way to the side of the room that I'm on want to rub his legs on me and his butt mm. I'm like don't you get it I don't want you. I don't want you. I don't want you. I don't. I don't need you, cat. I don't. It's only one cat I'm concerned about. I don't know what number I'm on or what unpopular opinions. I don't know if it's three or four. But anyway, my next unpopular opinion is that um, cancel culture is trash, and I know that like every time i'm watching something don't get me wrong like when people go to the extremes like uh, r kelly or um this whole me too movement where certain people because the the whole mm, my opinions on the me too movement we won't even go there but there are certain things that have gone on for so long or whatever that they're just like not okay at all and canceling like an artist when they've done that amount of damage to each his own i personally don't listen to r kelly's music because of um what has transpired however i think cancel culture has gotten way out of bounds like we're canceling people for everything now the reason why that's an unpopular opinion for me is because like everybody's quick to cancel people but y'all be acting like y'all dead ass dead don't be ass out here doing, doing stuff doing. like y'all act like y'all have never ever ever looked at you know looked at a young lady and thought she was older than what she was or tweeted something that you know good and well that you as a young person just were being emotional hormonal and you look back on those tweets or whatever and you're like I don't even feel that way anymore like people are forever growing and changing going through some stuff and some people survive it and have a positive outcome and some people have negative outcomes you know what I'm saying like so to cancel everybody for just being young and dumb that's like legit just this age because there's people our parents age that like didn't even have to go through that kind of stuff because the internet wasn't even a thing and they were just allowed to grow out of that but if you ask a lot of them about the dumb decisions they've made and the dumb stuff that they've said people can change and i'm sorry like people that that's another mm, that's another unpopular opinion is that people are always like people can't change people are who they are and they can't change that is so false now granted I ain't trying to be preachy. This is not meant to be um, a religious type video, but on everything and people that go to church or people that believe in God, if you're a fellow believer, if you don't want to hear this part, you can skip on to whatever you want to skip on to, but I'm going to say what I want to say on my channel, okay? If we believe God can do exceedingly and abundantly above all we can think or ask, don't you think that just because you can't think or see somebody being a different person hell i'm crazy enough to believe that donald trump can be changed i sue me hate me don't like me whatever but i can in one breath believers i'm talking to the believers because this is the hypocrisy and this is where some of my unpopular opinions are stemming from we can in one breath say, oh, we believe God can do anything. My God is bigger than everything. My God can do all above and beyond what I think. But just because you don't like the president or just because you don't like the lady that, you know, maybe stole your husband or maybe you don't like, like you're bitter towards something because you don't like somebody. You don't like anything or you like dis dismiss everything that goes on. Now, I am no way... I'm using him as an example because he's an extreme example. I am in no way endorsing anything that Donald Trump does. Do not like the guy. However, the reality is he's in office. Either we're going to vote him out 
But I also believe that God allows things to happen for a reason. So we can't in one breath be like, nah, 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 nah. and we can't like we can't say that God can do all these things, but He can't make people grow and change into a different person. Get out of here. That's stupid. That's like legit the opposite of what you just said. I believe you could do it all except for change Him. Who is He? Donald Trump ain't nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, miss me with all that. So. Um, yeah, that's my, that's one of my unpopular opinions is that people can change. I'm sorry, because people swear people can't change. That get, that gets on my nerves. All right, and my last unpopular opinion: cohabitating, shacking up, whatever y'all want to call it, when a girl and a boy are in a or whoever girl boy 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 girl girl. It doesn't matter shacking up cohabitating or whatever when you're in a relationship and you're not married i think it's okay now some people would be like no why why um why buy the cow when he can get the milk for free that's what you know the generation above me loves saying that why do this why do that listen i live with my boyfriend um which we are no longer together but i lived with my boyfriend for almost a year okay when when i was about to move into my apartment and we moved we end up like living together shortly after i moved into my apartment i was struggling and i remember like confiding in my godmother like huh like i know my parents are probably going to be mad and people are probably going to have a whole lot to say because if y'all don't know i'm a pk okay granddaddy was a preacher daddy was a preacher uncle a bishop i'm a pk okay um I don't believe I'm any less blessed because I made mistakes. As a matter of fact, I think that um, as I grow and come to different realizations about the things that have happened and transpired in my life, it made me stronger today, right? Um, it makes me want to get in front of this camera and talk to y'all and be more relatable, relatable because somebody was able to tolerate me in a time where I didn't deserve to be, you know what I'm saying? Like any of the stuff that I had. So I was struggling with that. And I was just like, huh, my mom's gonna be so mad at me and this, this, and that. And she was like, no shaking up. Da -da -da. And I think that's so illogical. I'm not saying go out here and live with every single person that you date because you really need to have a certain amount of care and you need to know that that person that lives with you cares for you um, a, a totally different way. It's not just some, oh, we cool, we vibe, and I like him, he like me, so we about to live together. No, 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 okay? Because I can do bad all by myself. I don't, need, I don't need you to be in this space with me, but I want you. I think that's the healthy relationship part, is that I want you to be in that space with me. But people can't stand shacking up, and I'm like, 